Hello! In this video, we'll be taking a look at the basics of using Canvas at Case Western Reserve University. To get started, open your favorite modern web browser and navigate to canvas.case.edu. If you're not already logged in, you will need to enter your CWRU network ID and password to single sign-on. The first time you log into Canvas, you may see an authorization page asking you to confirm your account. Otherwise, you'll be brought to the dashboard, which is the main landing page in Canvas. At the top of the dashboard, you might see important announcements posted by the Canvas administrators. At the side of the dashboard, or at the bottom on smaller screens, you'll see a to-do list of recent and upcoming items that need your attention. There's also a section for you to see feedback on your assignments and a button to quickly see your grades. Each of the classes you've enrolled in at CWRU could potentially have a corresponding Canvas course. We leave the decision on whether or not to use Canvas up to each instructor. So if you don't see a course listed in Canvas, please verify your instructor's plans directly with the instructor. Here on the dashboard, you'll see each class has a course card that can be selected to enter the class's Canvas course. You can quickly see if any announcements have been posted or jump to assignments or discussions using the buttons on the course card. You can also customize the course color and add a nickname to help differentiate your courses. You may also wish to switch your dashboard into the list view, which shows you a day-by-day -day breakdown of what's happening in your courses. Use the list view to mark off items that you've completed, add your own reminders, and view your grades. You can always toggle back to the card view using the three dots at the top of the page. Now let's get into a course. You can do that several ways, including selecting an item on the List View dashboard or from the To-Do list, using the Courses button on the side navigation, or by selecting the course card for the class. Once in a course, you'll see a navigation menu on the left of the page that can be used to move around the course. Instructors can customize their Canvas courses, so your experience may differ, but let's take a quick tour of the common Canvas course areas. First is the Announcements area. Instructors will post important announcements for the entire class here, which also show up on your dashboard and notifications from Canvas. Next is the syllabus area, where your instructor may add their syllabus information. This page also shows you upcoming items in the course and the course calendar. Next up is the modules area, which is typically where instructors place their course materials. Use the modules area to find readings, links to resources, and information about the class. You may also use the assignments, quizzes, and discussions areas to submit your work and interact with other students in the course. Selecting these menu areas will allow you to locate an assignment or discussion and view them for more information. These items can also be graded by your instructor, and any grades or feedback will be available on the grades page of the course. Now that we've looked at a class, let's take a quick peek at the global navigation in Canvas. This navigation is always available from any page in Canvas and gives you quick access to jump between courses using the Courses button, or view your calendar events using the Calendar button. You can also use the History button to quickly get back to where you left off the last time you were in Canvas. The Inbox can be used to send messages to your instructor or classmates within Canvas. There's also an Account button at the top, which lets you customize your profile picture, settings, and change your notification preferences. Finally, there's a Help button, which provides information for getting help with Canvas. Use this to call, email, or chat with Canvas support 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. One final note, we've looked at accessing Canvas with a computer or mobile browser, but you can also check out the Canvas student apps for both Android and iOS for a more mobile-friendly experience with Canvas. And that wraps up this video about getting started with Canvas. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact the UTech Service Desk at 216-368-HELP, help.case.edu, or help at case.edu. Thanks for watching!